Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So another day and more propaganda from the BBC. More lies, more exaggerations, which have now been called out. And I'm trying to work out how this happened in the first place. So we have this story. Simply untrue. London's Children's Hospital consultant blasts irresponsible nurse who gave a BBC radio interview claiming she saw a whole ward of children with the virus. So basically, on BBC Radio 5, there was an interview with Laura Duffel, a matron in a London hospital. She said on the BBC, it was minimally affecting children in the first wave, but we have a whole ward of children here, and I know some of my colleagues are in the same situation with whole wards of children with the virus. So she said that a ward was full of children with the virus, which has now been claimed to be untrue. Dr. Ronnie Chung blasted lies around children with virus. He said there were not wards filled with children suffering from the virus. So this doctor has come out after the interview and said, this is a load of rubbish, it's not true. He says, categorically not true. He said her comments were irresponsible in the extreme. So what, so what is going on here? Now the question is, I mean, Let's look at it from a logical standpoint. We have two people working at the hospital and both giving conflicting details. One of them is lying. And let's just say the doctor is telling the truth. So why is this nurse lying about children in the hospital? She's on the radio, she's on the BBC. Why is she lying? And why is she on the BBC in the first place? How could she be so wrong? She's a matron at the hospital. Surely she must know if there is a ward full of children with the virus in her hospital or not. So if there is not, then what other conclusion can there be that she must be deliberately lying? I mean, you can't be mistaken about something like that. I mean, what is her excuse? Is she going to claim she was confused by numbers? That she mistakenly said children when she meant the elderly? Or was it deliberate scaremongering going too far, which they had to call out? And again, it's the BBC where this misinformation is coming from. Like I said before, turn them off, don't share their articles. They are clearly not trustworthy and stop paying that license fee.